Hello, my loves. Mwah. Welcome back to my channel. So happy to have you guys here. Hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Let me know. Comment below. So this is going to be another pick a card reading. This is going to be what's going on in your connection. Okay, so we're really going to get into this connection to see where we're at. We're going to get some energy updates here. Um, so for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome in. I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium. Okay. So I will have all my information below to book a personal reading. Just an FYI, as of right now, I am a little bit booked. So go ahead and email me. And if I have a slot open, I will respond and we can proceed with the booking. If I don't have a slot, I probably will not respond to your email because the reason why I do it like that, you guys, because I had someone ask me, I don't have the, the, the space and the time with a full-time job. I can't respond to like 20, 30 emails to say, no, I don't have a slot. You know what I'm saying? As much as I want to interact with everyone one-on-one, -on -one, I have, you know, I work with kids, at-risk youth who are, you know, there's a lot of trauma there. There's a lot, I'm dealing with a lot of emotional, like energy all day long. So I have to keep myself sane and I, I just don't have the capacity to respond to every single email. So the reason why I'm doing it like this is just so you guys can know, if I don't respond to you, you can try back the following week you know, give me a little shout a second time. Check out my Instagram as well, you guys. But if I don't respond, then you know I'm booked, okay? Cool. Also, my Instagram. I do have testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings. I try to do them every other day. Um, I try to be pretty active on Instagram. Also, I do giveaways for Reiki sessions, Reiki healings, which I'm really looking forward to do. Um, if I have the energy on that specific day and I can provide an extra healing, I offer free healing sessions for people who need them. So you want to keep, um, you want to keep up with me on my community page and on my Instagram, cause that's where I upload these announcements. Okay. Also, if you would like to donate to my channel, I would absolutely love that. Okay. Um, I do have my Amazon wish list at the bottom. I have my, um, yeah, my Amazon wish list at the bottom. Also, I have like two very, very highly desired indie decks that I would absolutely love for our channel. Okay. So the more, you know, if I get these decks, I can do more pick a card readings. That's the incentive. Now, the indie decks are priced a little bit higher. So if you're feeling a little generous, please email me and let me know that you would like to send me a deck. I do want to give my clients a shout out here. Chinasa, thank you so much for my indie deck. I adore you. Um, you've definitely been a client of mine and, you know, I adore every second of our um, reading sessions. You are a gem, like every time. Like, I love your energy. Thank you for bringing such light into our session. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to Sharon Munfis. Thank you so much for thinking about me with this independent deck. I absolutely adore you. I love it. It's beautiful. Thank you for just bringing your lovely presence. You're amazing. Mwah, big kiss, big hug. Perfect. So all that information is below and cash app as well if you want to do a cash donation. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, I'm going to grab my coffee real quick. You guys know how I roll, you know, my little diva cup. I know a lot of you guys have told me you like this cup, so I love that cup. <laughs> I'm not one to hold on to a lot of like things in my life, but that mug is like life. I don't know. It's just my mug. All right. So here is going to be pile number one. What's going on with this connection? The cosmic tarot. Okay. This is going to be pile two. The mythic tarot deck. This is going to be pile three, the lover's tarot. OK, 
okay? So please choose your deck. Think about your person. Use your... Use your intuition. Okay, if you need more time, pause the video, you guys. Okay, pile. Pile one, let's get started. <clears throat> All right, pile one, what's going on with this connection? What is going on with your person? I'm having a vision of a lot of purples and blues here. So this is a representation of your throat chakra and your higher crown chakras, your third eye, your crown. So this connection is very spiritual and I feel like both of you guys may have a situation where your third eye is blocked right now. Maybe both of you guys are twin flames or your soulmates. Um, I'll confirm that in a second. But I am feeling an energy here of a desire to communicate your truth. One of you is very highly spiritual and in tune. One of you, either my viewers or your person, someone here is very psychic, very psychic here. It could be my viewers because you're here, but I'm also having a vision of travel and like water. So some of you guys may live at a distance is what I'm saying, okay? I am having a vision of um, a lot of like contemplation, looking out the window, really thinking about this person or this person has been thinking about you. There's been a stalemate is what I'm hearing. There's been a lot of, um, there's been a lot of like silence. There's just been a lot of silence in this connection, okay? going on in this connection with pile one please you know this person has been praying about you and this connection someone here has been praying there's been a lot of faith here there's been a lot of hope Maybe there's a sense of religion kind of standing in the way of both of you. Maybe both of you guys have a difference in, um, you know, maybe you guys have a difference when it comes to your religions or your faith and your practice, okay? Um, I feel there is an energy here of, of okay, so this person has been watching you elevate yourself, pile one. They have, what's going on in this connection? They've been watching you from afar. They've been watching you elevate your life. Like some of you guys have been building like strong, sturdy foundations. They're watching you build these buildings and pyramids for yourself. And this is a representation of also, you know, back in the times when emperors and pharaohs used to have temples that were built in their honor homes for royalty. So they are looking at you like you are someone who is incredibly ahead of their time. I don't know why I said it like that. But they're looking at you as if you are ahead of your time. Um, a lot of you guys are old souls. A lot of my viewers, you guys have... I'm hearing rags from riches, like you've pulled yourself up from the bottom to the top. Your work ethic is very prominent here. And this is something that your person really admires about you is your ability to rise from the ashes like the phoenix. So some of you guys may be Scorpios. I'm hearing Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, okay, um, Sagittarius placements here, but could be any sign really. So what's going on in this connection? What is happening? 
So I feel it's interesting because this person is like obsessing with you, like obsessing over you. And again, the finances and career, they're at a distance and they're watching you and they're watching you build these large monumental like temples or buildings and they are incredibly like in shock and they're proud and they, but it's intimidating the energy i kept picking up was intimidation from the beginning like this person is very intimidated by you by the fact that you guys have a strong personality some of you guys have an animal totem here of a bear a spirit animal of a bear so a lot of native american roots here my viewers you are strong individuals you come from warriors your ancestors are warriors and they're also conquerors your ancestors you may have some Spaniard ancestors like conquistadores, you know, like people, you know, your ancestors were people who would take land if they felt it was rightfully theirs. But I, I'm also getting maybe some of you guys have native roots where you, uh, you know, had a very strong tribe that was well known, a tribe that would take over whatever they felt was their territory. I'm hearing... Um, Apache or Blackfoot Indian, okay? So there's a very strong energy coming through here that my viewers, you come from a lineage of fighters. So this is the way you have been in, in your life and in this relationship. Like you don't take no shit. And your strength is always felt. This isn't the first time that I feel like a partner has told you that you're strong or I, I feel like my viewers get a lot of the, um, I'm intimidated by you or you're so intimidating and you're like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you know what I mean? So you're like, what? Like, you're like, what are you talking about? And this is because you come from the, es the essence of strength. And a lot of people do not have this, this um, similarity in strength that you have, okay? So, Release your ex, children, healing family issues, and unrequited love, okay? I am having a vision of this um, pile in particular. Your person did not, did not meet you halfway. I feel like they could have done a lot more to impress you or a lot more to kind of, you know, woo you or a lot more to kind of invest in this connection. Your strength reminds them a lot of the reasons of why this person has a disconnected relationship with their mother or their father. There's a disconnection here because their parent was very strong and only a little, I want to say, listen, this person has a mother who was a little bit narcissistic, okay? Very self-centered on self-pleasing whether it was financial, whether it was life. So this mother took a lot of trips. You know, she didn't. She wasn't like a typical mother at home. Like she would find reasons to leave on a constant basis. It's like she didn't really want to be a part of the family life. Or this was a father. And if that doesn't resonate, it's just this person has a disconnected relationship with their parents, okay? Now, your strength, your ability to move, your ability to navigate, move, meaning your ability to navigate all kinds of circumstances in your life alone without additional support is incredibly intimidating to this person because it triggers. It triggers their childhood memories of when, you know, their parent didn't need them. So what's going on in this connection? Past energy. I'm hearing rooted behavior. So this is important because this message, rooted behavior, this is something they're reacting from a place of wound. Your person is reacting from a place of their inner child that has not been healed. The seven of wands in reverse. Children inner child wounding i'm hearing a sacrifice needing to be made here 
some of you guys really tried with this person. Like, I feel like you really tried to, like, do it up. Like, you maybe changed your hair. Maybe you were really trying. You put on your makeup or you put on your best outfit for this person. You put on your best show for this person. Like, you really tried to step up for this person to gain their validation. And it was unsuccessful. I'm getting that this person, it's like the more you leveled up, the more this person will kind of pull away and play more games. They're afraid of you. You guys, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but you guys outshine this person. So some of you may have a drastic, a very, very big age gap. Eight of Swords in reverse. So... For some of you, this person actually helped you level up, okay? So despite, I, I'm moving too fast into the future here, but I feel like what I'm feeling right now is that this connection, what's going on in this connection is that it almost feels karmic. Like they taught you how to move away from this toxic behavior of needing validation from your partner. I am getting that this person walked away from you and you may have been like, what? How? Or they may have chosen someone else and you're like, how? Because, you know, my viewers, you have a lot to offer and you were shocked that they chose someone else or you were shocked that they walked away in general because you guys are abundant. Okay. My viewers, you're giving me Empress vibes. You're giving me Venetian vibes. You're giving me like you know, you're, you have a strong presence and you really command attention and you're very abundant. This person does not have that for you. They are working on their own abundance. Okay. So when you walked in the room and you really, you know, both of you guys had a really strong connection here in terms of chemistry, they didn't know what to do with that. Okay. So what's going on in this connection? There's a lot, a lot of youthfulness here and a lot of projection, a lot of projection, okay? Projections meaning that there are triggers that be, that are that are being triggered here from the past, okay? What's going on in this connection? Yeah. So how are they feeling about you? <laughs> and oh my God, how are they feeling about you? telling you it was like love at first sight they don't know how in the world you like them they don't get it they don't get it because they're absolutely in love with you and they're hiding it this person stalks you on social media social media excuse me <laughs> they're actively worried about what you're doing who you're with who you're talking to i'm also having a vision of the color yellow and orange so this is also involving a lot of sexual energy and a lot of um, power. This person is going to try to show off, okay? They're gonna try to show off on their social media for you. This is how they're gonna kind of peacock their energy to try to pull you back in. They're gonna show off with their best outfits. They're gonna try to show off with, you know, music. They're gonna try to post specific lyrics or specific, this person's big on music, or they're gonna try to post um, maybe, things that would capture your attention because they don't want to reach out to you, but this person wants to talk to you. They want to be a part of your life. They just, they're, they're so afraid of your power. They're also very pulled in by your power. So this is something that is incredibly conflicting to them because they do not understand. Oh my God, you remind them of their mother. Hands down, pal one, you remind them of their mother. And this is such a trigger because I'm having a vision of a mother figure here. And this person is like hitting a picture frame, a family picture frame in my vision. So you remind them of the, the masculinity in their mother. Their mother was a woman of power or is a woman of power. And there was a lot of um, disconnection in terms of motherhood and again, pursuing their own goals. Like this person, your person had a mother who pursued their own life instead of being a mom. 
this is a big resentment that this person has. This person cannot get over that because they have a strong cultural value of what a mother is supposed to do for their children. So there is this unsaid and very subconscious um, sadistic energy that your person projects onto the feminine because of this. Anyone who is remotely reminiscent of their mother will get this response from them because it, it just, you know, this wounding here with that moon, like this person is trying to come out of their own inner shadows. You know, a lot of people in their surroundings are asking them and questioning like, why are you waiting to make a move? I'm hearing, why are you waiting to make a move? Their friends are questioning them. Their family, I don't know if they've, I don't think they've told their family too much about you yet, but I am getting that they talk to their friends about you. And so what's happening is that their friends are asking them, why are you taking so long? Like, what is, what is it? And this person is really sitting on the reason, like, why? So with this moon card, they're trying to bring more clarity into their emotions. This person I'm hearing is having wild dreams about you, okay? They're having wild dreams about you, honey, okay? That could be sexual. That could be like, I don't know what kind of wild dream. <laughs> okay, they're having dreams about you. So this person is definitely in their pride, okay? They, you make them feel like they're not good enough for you. So it triggers a lot of their pride. Then their little lion comes out right here. They got to put on a show for everybody, okay? It's like, I feel... <laughs> okay, look, I feel like that's you watching them putting on a show. Like, you're going to watch them on social media. You're going to take a look at what they're doing, and they're going to be like, oh, look at me, look at me with my little red shoes. And then you're over here like, what? <laughs> I already got my crown. You should be watching me. You see how this lion has a crown? This lion, that's you guys. You're like, I got my crown on. You should be over here. Like, why am I watching you? <laughs> you know? But this person is going to actively, you know, with the, the Prince of Wands in reverse, they're going to actively try to impress you. Um, they're trying to pull you in because this person doesn't want to make the move. They don't want to make a move because they're prideful. Now, family issues, healing family issues. Again, with the Prince of Wands in reverse, this person has a lot of inner child issues, especially anger and issues surrounding their physical body. They don't feel comfortable with their body. Maybe they don't feel buff enough or they don't feel sexy enough or there's something, they have maybe an image disorder. They may even eat kind of weird. Like they might have different eating patterns. They're obsessive with food, okay? This person is resisting like resisting the love that they have for you, but they're watching you from afar. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, okay? I'm also getting that you could be dealing with a, um, wow, Cancer energy is coming through strong. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Libra. And my viewers, you guys feel like strong Leos. I think I said the signs earlier. Um, yeah. And so, you know, this person has been focused on dating, like they gave you the perception that this was unrequited. Okay. From the beginning, they're like, oh, this is one sided. Maybe you guys really like tried to impress this person with what you had to offer and what you wanted to give them. And that instantly almost turned them off because they didn't know how to level up to you. They didn't know how to match up to you. So instead of this actually bringing about some sort of like excitement, it scared them. This person is used to dating really young people, like younger. They're used to being in control. They're used to being the ones who are dominating the situation, okay? So this person feels they are incredibly in love with you. Look, they, they saw your offer and they've been thinking about it. They've been meditating. They're trying to pretend like they don't want it. But look at how they feel about you. This person feels a lovers about you. They are in love with you. But they are at conflicts with you. They're, they're at conflict with this. Because 
they it's like they can't move past their own self-sabotaging behaviors okay they can't move past this and they're struggling right now i keep having a vision of this person oh my god this person keeps popping in like their head they keep popping their head in and out they'll see you and then they like retreat they'll see you and then they retreat this person likes cheerios they like cereal in the morning i know that's random but that that's what i saw spirit that was for somebody they have a cute smile though they have a one-of-a-kind smile that really melts people's hearts is what I'm seeing, okay? So, wow. This person has a last name with an R or a V. And they live, um, they live in a place where there are gates in the front. There's definitely some gates in the front and then you have to walk up the steps to get to their place. It's like an old school, like, barrio kind of house. For you guys don't don't know what barrio means, it means hood. Um, like, there's the gate to protect the home, and then you, you walk, and then there are stairs, okay? So, um, so what do they want to see happen? Like, what do they want to see develop here in this connection with you? What do they want to see happen? This person just will not stop stalking you. This person like loves to watch you. They love to watch you. Okay. But they do want to communicate. So what do they want with you? Like what's, what's the thing here? Like what is it, what's going on? What does this person want with you? I'm hearing stability. This person really wants to hold your hand. I'm hearing they're really proud of you. What do they really want with you? I'm hearing show me the way. So some of you guys are like a teacher to this person. Some of you guys I'm hearing are really good in business and this person really wants in on that. <laughs> They want in on your coin. You better secure your bag, girl. Don't let nobody take your money. <laughs> um, so where do they want to see this connection go? Let's talk a little bit about that. I'm hearing it's hard for me to change. Your person is just like in this, this self-sabotaging energy right now. This person also drinks or they excessively um smoke or they do something that's not really good for their health okay like there is an excessive amount of alcohol here or party like when they think about you they get really anxious um this person tries to numb and run from everything this is something they've struggled with for a really long time okay um for some it may be casual drinking but it's excessive there's an excessive amount of 3d pleasure this is 3d pleasure here with the nine of cups in reverse this is like sex this is like gambling or physical, you know, sex. So this person right now, you know, they're definitely watching you on social media. They feel, I'll, I'll be honest, they feel like you're too much for them. Okay. They want you to teach them how to do what you do, whatever it is that you do. But they feel like this connection is way too high maintenance for them. That's because they're in their self-sabotaging behavior because they could easily level up and match you, but they're scared. This person is trying to take a break from you right now. They're trying to move away from this. This person has been numbing their feelings. They do, it's like they want to focus on their harvest. They really want to focus on their money right now. Their, their money is a priority because that is also hindering them from talking to you. Um because they don't want to show up with nothing to offer this person has a lot of pride and ego so if they show up and they have nothing to offer that means that you could easily turn them down and they don't want that okay this person right now they don't have the strength and they're not really loyal right now okay with the empress in reverse there's another woman involved here that they kind of cloak i'm hearing they cloak them so they hide <laughs> This won't resonate for everyone. This could be a mother figure or family. 
there's an issue here with uh, another feminine energy that they might hide from you if this is another woman or if it's family and a mother maybe the mother doesn't really like you or approve of this situation okay maybe the mother is not approving of this connection so as of right now, they're trying to block that communication and ultimately they want to come out of conflict, okay? But I'm seeing this person choose their career right now. They have to. Look at the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They want to choose their coin. Otherwise, they will not feel confident about coming up to you. So that's what's going on in this connection. All right. I hope that resonated. Let me know. Let's go ahead and do pile. Okay. <laughs> Thirsty, you guys. Okay. So this is... All right, pile two. What's going on in this connection? Pile two. Pile two. What's going on in this connection? Okay, so I'm having a vision of, of a Scorpio here, a scorpion. So um, this could be representative of your sun signs or your, your moon or your rising. Scorpio energy, scorpionic energy. But this could also be a representation of your um, current spirit animal representing this connection. So Scorpios are about um, our shadow, our shadow selves, about mysticism, okay? This is about... Um, magic, the occult, um, hidden power, things that are hidden, okay? So your person, you may be dealing with someone who's very, I don't know why I just heard a shaman. You may be dealing with someone who's very shamanistic, who's a shaman. You may be a shaman. Um, there's a lot of power here. I'm feeling this energy for this pile. Child, there's a lot of power, like a lot of fire power as well, like a lot of Mars energy. So you could be dealing, you and your partner, I am getting this, this energy of both of you guys being similar signs. So this may be a fire and fire, water, water, air, air, and et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So there's a duality here. This does feel like a twin flame union. This feels, cause I'm having a vision of red and blue energies kind of integrating and, and, um, kind of intertwining each other. So this does feel like a higher frequency connection than something regular, okay? Um, I feel like this connection is something that is guided by spirit is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing divine timing. What's going on in this connection? So I had a vision that your person picked up a scorpion, okay? Um, this person that you're dealing with has a strong connection to the scorpion energy. So they're very powerful in their venom as well. So this person has the energy to heal or they have an energy to destroy. So if they are in a lower frequency right now, you are best to stay away from this person because they could psychically attack you. This person has strong powers. They're, they're very powerful people and so are you. But see, my viewers, I'm having a vision that you're represented by a swan. A swan is very powerful and magic, very pure and magic. It's a little more high frequency. Not that Scorpios aren't high frequency, high frequency. Scorpion, excuse me, Scorpions are notorious for their transformational power and transmuting negative energy. So I feel here each totem has its own power, okay? Now, this person, I feel like they're trying to, it, right now, they are trying to embrace their shadow side. I'm having a vision of them in a tunnel and they're holding on to the scorpion. On the flip side, on the contrast of that, I am having a vision of my viewers. You are represented by a swan. So a lot of my viewers, especially if you're feminine, you have been undergoing a massive transformation involving alchemy, involving um, transmission, involving really coming into a state of femininity and of being more receptive with your energy instead of chasing after the masculine. A lot of you have been transforming this beautiful divine energy into power. 
okay because a lot of you guys have been tired of a runaround is what i'm hearing for some this is a karmic cycle okay karmic cycle or it may be a karmic partner but there is definitely a sense of wanting to come back into union okay you guys have definitely had trust issues with each other there's a mirror here you you weren't trusting of this connection okay What did I say? Past life relationship. What did I say? My intuition don't lie. Worth waiting for. Again, this is a twin flame. I felt it. Especially, usually I can feel when connections are like higher frequency. Like I usually have a vision of um, like a lot of the blues and reds. Like that, that high frequency fifth dimension energy. Um, and that's how you, I do my readings as well. Like I can always see like energy, the orbs coming from twin flames from their heart to each other and kind of merging like this. Yeah. So anyway, there is a lot of push pull here. There, there definitely was third party energy here. Um, there was definitely a lot of, sorry, I'm getting, I should have turned off my notifications. Um, there's a lot of energy of other people coming in between your connection, pal, too, okay? There's a lot of chitter-chatter, a lot of outside influences, um, a lot of people. This person is around, this person gambles, okay? They gamble either in life or they're, they're gambling for money and they're not happy about this. This is something they feel ashamed about. But they are trusting the wrong people with this connection. Like, they tell the wrong people about this divine connection and these people are guiding them in the wrong direction on what to do like oh yeah you know they're they're telling them how to be low frequency about this um they're not doing it on purpose you guys it's just your person is also at odds with this okay both of you guys um are in separation right now. And I feel like both of you guys can feel your energy. You can feel the divine feminine in the situation. You can feel that you guys are coming closer and closer to union, okay? It's like, you can feel the level of closeness that you guys have, and it's coming closer and closer. But there's also, your masculine in this connection is stuck in this tunnel. And they're still trying to figure out their power, okay? They're still trying to figure out this darkness and how to get out. But I do feel that you guys have kind of moved away from the worst kind of um, energy here that was stagnant. So again, this is that past life energy working through. And both of you guys can feel, this is for me, like you know on a deeper level that this is more than just a relationship. Or this is more than just, you know, 3D chemistry. You can feel it, okay? Even if you don't know what twin flames are, or even if you don't know what a soulmate is, you can feel how deep this is. So how's your person feeling about you, pal, too? So the Eight of Cups in reverse, they're having a hard time walking away from this. They want to walk away from it because this connection I'm hearing is taboo or something about this. They they are afraid of what their friends are going to say. Their friends have been in their ear nonstop, like, don't do it. Um, this person isn't any good for you. This person does witchcraft. Oh, my God, this person. Your person may be Catholic or Christian or they they have some sort of religion that is very judgmental. Um, their, their friends are like, oh, you know, this person does witchcraft. They're, they're, they're into witchery and like black magic and like they're, they're in their ear that, oh, this person is going to, you know, they're going to hurt you with their magic. So that just means my viewers, you guys are strong high priestess energy. They're afraid of your power because they feel your power. <laughs> Again, shaman energy, right? What I said in the beginning. So something happened in January. Something, January is big here in March or March will be a very big month for you and this person. Maybe there will be union. How are they feeling about you? The Eight of Cups in reverse. They are feeling incredibly passionate about you, okay? 
Sag, Leo, Aries. Again, with these two cards coming up in reverse, this is like separation coming out of separation, coming out of not trusting this union. This person is divinely guided, like their angels are guiding them to you, okay? They're like, listen, you can trust this person. Like you're, the angels here have been doing a lot of work. How are they feeling about you? So they know they fucked up, okay? Because I had a vision of them sitting on the ground and they're having a hard time standing up or they're having a hard time standing in their power or even like... St so when someone stands up, it's a representation of your rise. It's symbolic of your rise. It's symbolic of your confidence, right? It's symbolic of um, your status. Like, you know, when you say, you know, stand up, pull your shoulders back, walk in a room because it matters. It really shows how you feel about yourself. This person is in a crouched position in my vision. They're close to the ground. So this person doesn't feel good for you. Like they don't feel like they're good for you or they don't feel like they have enough to offer you. They're surrounded by empty pails of water, like empty buckets of water, despite being close to um, a well. So for me, this is symbolic of their lack of spiritual wealth. This person is not, like they're lacking faith, especially with that vision of them being in the shadow energy. They're really not trusting the divine right now. So a lot of the downloads are getting muddled and they're blurry because they're so busy sitting in this darkness, okay? But they are feeling very regretful. They know that you know the truth about something here. And I feel like for some of you, this person, this person graffiti is they love to graffiti or they did at some point back in the day. Um, and they listen to LL Cool J and um, Ice Cube. They love, this is like their jam, okay? This person has an edgy kind of lifestyle. And so, you know, they know they didn't treat you with the respect that they should have treated you. And I feel like a big part of it is they were influenced by a lot of other people here. Um, they might have some, I don't know why this is coming up. This person is very insecure about their height. Some of you guys may be taller than this person. They're very insecure about their height. So they're feeling, again, very immature. You know, they're not really... Um, how are they feeling about you? Yeah, they're feeling really regretful, okay? They're very nostalgic about your connection. Like, they've been thinking about you. There's a lot of inner child stuff here that needs to be worked through, okay? Your person... This person is very possessive over you, and the thought of you remotely dating someone else or the thought of you hanging out with another man or a woman or whatever would kill them so they see you as this beautiful prize right like they're looking at you like you're this cup okay they're just staring at the beauty that you are and they want you all to themselves but i'm getting that this person has been getting jealous about something that maybe they've they've heard of or they've seen and it's kind of turn them off from coming towards you but also it's more about their insecurity because they don't have a right i'm hearing they don't have a right to feel like this towards you this person has not committed to you they have not honored you but they are so afraid of getting cheated on like they wouldn't be able to handle it with the three of pentacles here you know what song is coming to mind is um the lloyd song i don't deserve you like Lyric by lyric, this is how they feel. No joke. They do with that three of pentacles. They do want to come together and maybe collaborate and work on something with you. Um, they're coming in with a lot of passion. Like they really feel like they want a new start with you and they're ready to apologize. Okay. They really fucked up. All right. So. Sorry, you guys. I'm taking forever. All right. Um, so where do they want this connection to go? I feel my viewers, you're just kind of like, I feel like you're low key. You're kind of like waiting for this person. 
I don't think you want to, you know, um, you don't want to admit that, but so where is this connection going to go? Okay, so pile two. Your person is not healed, okay? Um, especially if this is your twin, you need to let this person grow up a little bit and you need to let them heal and have them come in with a proper offer. Okay, I'm having a vision of the clouds here as well, okay? So... Let me get a vision, you guys. Pile two, where do they want this connection to go? So, okay, I feel like this person wants to send you a message, okay? They're gonna send you a message. Um, they're feeling excited about reconnecting with you, but th their aim is a little sketchy right now, okay? So you're gonna hear from this person. They're going to apologize. They're going to explain to you what's been going on. I feel like they're really going to kind of pull you in. But I don't like this energy of the Ace of Wands in reverse and the devil because it almost feels like this person, um, you know, they're very uh, connected to you sexually, like they want you sexually, but then they're going to ghost. There's an injustice here. Because this person is still in their shadow energy, they're kind of like in their Hades energy. And a lot of you guys are like Persephone, you know, you're bringing a lot of like, excuse me, you're bringing a lot of purity, okay? You're bringing a lot of purity into this situation. And I feel like this person is not ready to meet you there. They're still in their shadow. So be careful because there is an injustice that's going to happen if you allow this person to do it. They are being driven by lower vibrating energies right now, okay? This person, it's like I'm hearing they, they're willing to risk it all to get what they want. They want this from you because they want to feel loved by you. They want to heal the part of themselves that they feel isn't healed with their, their mother or their caretaker. So be careful. Now with this eight of cups in reverse, this person is like, they already have a situation back home is what I'm hearing. And they have not completed a cycle with the person they need to close this out with. This is why it's saying it's worth the wait. Cause I feel like this person they they are they're confused they have several options you know you're one of them but you're you're the most important to them you're the most important option but because of this immaturity they're driving from a place of immaturity they're going to try i don't know why i heard travel they're going to try to travel to you and i feel like they're going to offer you something but it's going to be very seductive it's like a, a <laughs> It's like they're trying to seduce you pretty much, okay? With this King of Pentacles, they could also be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Again, they're not willing to give anything to you right now or to this, except for, you know, the fluffy, um, you know, I, I want to be with you and da, 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 da. But you'll know, Spirit is saying, you'll know if they're truthful by the way they communicate and their actions. The minute you ask them to verify, I'm hearing verify, make sure you verify to show you, they'll show you how truthful they are, okay? Make sure you get verification by their actions. This person is gonna come in hot and heavy, so it's up to you to set those boundaries. All right, pile two. All right, pile three. All right, pile three, what's going on in this connection? Where are we at with this connection here? Okay, so I'm having a vision of a, of a wow, this is interesting. I've never had a vision like this. Um, this connection is represented by clear quartz. Okay, I'm having a vision of a clear quartz here. Um, there's a lot of energy in this connection and a lot of purity, a lot of, um, energy being transmuted, a lot of amplification of energy. So both of you guys are mirroring a lot and not only are you mirroring, but you're also 
amplifying a lot of this karmic energy that you guys are carrying. I'm hearing soulmate. So this feels like a soulmate connection here, okay? You're dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Capricorn. What's going on in this connection, my viewers? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Virgo, Scorpio, but it could be anything, okay? Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising. What's going on in this connection, please? Pal three. Okay, I'm also having a vision of an alarm clock here. So divine timing, that's telling me divine timing, okay? Um, I feel like there has been an amplification. It's almost like you guys are like magnets to each other. When you guys come together, the energy is so intense. I feel both of you have a hard time even like hanging in with this connection. Like both of you guys have a hard time even being in the same room. This person has been very destructive and I feel it also like they have been very destructive towards the relationship and I feel like it's also um, kind of inspired some destructive behavior in you. Like a lot of triggering is happening here in order to heal. This has been a pattern of healing, okay? So I feel like this energy is really based on um, clearing out karma from the past. This person has been so frustrating to you. This person will see, they'll look at your text and they'll just like, oh, I'll respond later. They purposely, pile three, do not want to give you power. This person cannot handle giving you power. They've gone through a lot in their relationships, okay? They've gone through a lot and I feel like this person may be divorced or they're coming out of a situation, a long-term connection. Yes. Both of you guys are triggered. Like Janae Iko, triggered. Like this connection triggers you so much. Like you don't know what to do because it's like, how is it that someone can trigger you like that? You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of triggering here. I feel like there's been a, a level of deception as well. Like your person, upon meeting you, I feel like they were um, curious about you. They were trying to see what you were all about. I feel music was involved here. I feel like there's a lot of chemistry, a lot of flirtatiousness, a lot of um, like banter back and forth. This person was curious about you. Um, I'm hearing they wanted to know something. There's something they wanted to know. And then once they found out, they were ghosts. This person is really arrogant, okay? Mm. Oh my God. It's almost like I feel like they've been a little bit dismissive about you, okay? This connection feels like they've been dismissive about this um, because they feel, I don't know why they feel like a superstar. <laughs> I don't know if your person is in the music industry, but they're working like a regular, like maybe a whatever job, like at a restaurant or something, but they feel like they are the hottest shit in the world. They are walking around with this, this very, they, they, they're just very confident in themselves. And, and that's great. That's awesome. But I feel like they've kind of treated you as like another groupie or another fan. And now they're coming under the realization that they really do love you. There's a lot of forgiving and learning happening right now between both of you guys. I feel like this person, um, They are so in love with you. This person wants to reconnect with you. But they have been hiding how they feel about you. And they have been resisting making an effort towards this connection, okay? Um, and I feel like, again, I feel like this person just, they're avoidant of anything that will make their ego feel bad. They don't want to feel bad, you know? They don't want to make, like... I feel like you guys have a strong personality, okay, my viewers? I feel what I'm hearing is that you said something to them that really cut their ego, and then since then, they've been ghost. You said something that really cut their ego, and they weren't ready for <laughs> They were not ready for that, 
that was a lot for them. And when, when you guys had this conversation, whatever you said sent them spiraling. Like it sent them spiraling. Past energies. So this connection is very um, attractive. Exactly. I said arguments and look what happened. Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you guys had like a serious like breakdown in communication. You said something that really cut their ego. And since then, they haven't been right because they try to pretend like they don't want you or they don't love you, but they love you. So your words are very meaningful to this person. Okay. Music is a big part of this pile here. Music is important. Maybe you guys met at a concert or you, you know, this person does music on the side. Yeah, they've been feeling left out in the cold by this connection. They feel really, um, they're healing from their own feelings of abandonment from this connection. I feel like you guys were just tired of this person playing games. I'm almost hearing like some of you guys were fed up. You were fed up. Okay. You're like, listen, we're either going to act right or you're going to be out. So I feel like you guys gave this person an ultimatum or you said something that may have felt like an ultimatum and they didn't know how to like respond and they kind of ran away. With the prince, <laughs> yeah, they kind of ran away. With the prince of wands here, they definitely are feeling curious about you. Again, they, they're realizing that they love you and they want to offer you so much love, but they're also really focused on getting their money. Okay, like right now, this is definitely a feeling-based energy. They're in their feelings about you. Pile three. Hmm. How do they feel about you? Oh my God. So first of all, they think that some of you guys, they feel like you haven't been loyal to them, that you left them out in the cold. You know, this connection has inspired a lot of their, it's inspired a lot of their own, like triggering from their childhood. Again, this is about them projecting, you know, with the strength in reverse, They feel like while you're here collecting the coin, a lot of you guys are like a woman of power or a feminine in power or a person of power. That while you're here collecting cash and coins on a daily basis, they feel like you're not loyal, like that you left them out in the cold. You know, they're feeling um, like you abandoned them that you just left them out in the cold, not realizing because with this contemplation in reverse, they're not, they're not taking into account what they did in this connection to sabotage it. Okay. So they are trying to manifest you back though. They want to manifest you and they feel like they want to know, they want to know your secrets. Some of you guys are uh, witches. Some of you guys, you know, are actively doing spells or you're into spell work. And this person wants to know. They want to know your secrets. They want to know how you do it. And they feel absolutely like terrified. <laughs> I'm hearing they feel terrified. They feel like they're moving real slow right now because they don't know what kind what kind of magic you're you're doing. <laughs> they feel like you you literally put them under a spell, is what I'm hearing. Okay. So where are they going with this connection? What do they want from this connection? This could be a twin flame as well. Where are they going with this connection here? What do they want? They're going to offer you something, okay? They are going to offer you something tangible. I feel like this person, um, they because they're so like in their ego about money and about status, like I feel like they want to offer you something involving money. Like money is important here, okay? Where do they want this connection to go? Mm -mm. Three. so there's a lot of immature cards here okay 
this person, when they come back to you, it's not going to be well thought out. It's going to be like an impulse. There's a lot of page energy here. So this person is young, like in their early 20s, mid 20s. Okay. Um, they are going to offer you something, but it's not going to be a give and take thing. They want to offer you something. And I feel like there's going to be an imbalance here. Like they they're almost worried that it's not going to be enough. Whatever they're going to give you is not going to be enough for you, but they're going to try anyway. But I feel like a big part of this is a little too sexual for me here. Like they're not really committing with that page of cups in reverse, the princess of cups in reverse. There's a lot of immaturity. Maybe children are involved here. Maybe they have a child, so they have to be careful about how they navigate this connection with you. Or you provoke a lot of a lot of their emotional instability, okay? They're trying to get out of this, this toxicity with you. They don't want to be in a situation where they're bound. But I feel like some of you, this person is also trying to get rid of a person they have a child with or they, um, for some of you, they're trying to get rid of this person out the picture so they can come towards you. Um, but this person has them like bound, you know? Yeah, with the three of wands in reverse and the four of wands again. Like, I feel like this person is kind of in a situation right now. So what do they want from you? <laughs> what does this person want with you? Okay, look, this person needs to make a decision, okay? There's another person involved here. This person is not being honest with you. So be careful for the kind of invitation that you get for this person. They're going to invite you to something. But I'm hearing that this is going to be very um, on the fly and it's not going to be well thought out. They already have something going on, okay? This person needs to commit to a decision before they come towards you with a serious offer. There's a lot of immaturity here and a lot of party life as well. This person is really big on partying for some of you. So make sure, make sure that this person is coming in with good intentions because it feels like they're not bad people, but it feels like they already have like something here waiting for them and then they're coming at you with an offer. So just be aware, okay? All right, my loves, I hope that resonated. Mwah. Thank you so much and we'll talk soon, bye.